The situation at Deutsche Bank has been heating up. This is the same bank that the IMF referred to as the most dangerous bank in the world. I have talked about this as well and the dangers it imposes simply because it cannot be sustained. You cannot create a monster and expect it not to run loose on the system at some point. It's inevitable. No solutions will be provided. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite topics right now and that is Deutsche Bank. I've been covering this very closely, you've been watching these videos and right now today we are getting ever closer to that Monday, to that point in which we have heard that there is going to be these mass job cuts that will take place. I have new details to bring you today. I'm going to show you what's going on with the derivatives of Deutsche Bank. Many people are interested in this. I'm going to show you what's happening behind the scenes and how this company here is in a position that it cannot get out of. I'm going to give you all of that information, so stay tuned. Let's get into it. This is the bank that poses the biggest risk to the global financial system. I have been quoting this essentially over and over again. This comes from 2016 and I've been talking about it for the past few years. At the very bottom of this article, the quote directly from the IMF. Among the global systemically important banks, Deutsche Bank appears to be the most important net contributor to systemic risks. They are saying that this is the most potential danger out of any of these banks. We're talking about banks that are literally too big to fail. If one of them were to fail, the entire financial system would collapse. That's how intertwined, that's how big, that's how important these banks have become and that is very, very frightening. There are people out there who will deny it, who will argue till they're blue in the face. The Fed is going to save us. Don't worry, they'll bail it out. They'll do a bail in is always going to be fixed. But you have to start to realize that there isn't something that can be done with this bank. There is no solution that we've ever seen thus far in any previous crisis with any of these other banks that could be applied to Deutsche Bank and have it work. They have created this bad bank as they talk about. This has happened before. It's not the first time any company has ever done this. We're looking at all of the governments around the world essentially at this point completely insolvent. There's no way that they could ever fix it. They can't create a solution. They can't simply bail it out. It's just too big. They can't do a bail in without creating a massive problem. In fact, depending on how this fails and how everything begins to unwind with their derivatives, they can't do anything with it. That's my entire point. We have a bank that is growing ever larger in some ways with the risks that it imposes and yet the market cap has shrunk dramatically. That makes their leverage even worse and we've got a big issue going on all throughout the financial system, not just with Deutsche Bank. Look, if it was one bank, maybe they could withstand it, but it's not the case. We are looking at all of these around the world becoming a bigger and bigger risk as we have seen with what's going on, for example, in China they started to realize that, okay, when one bank goes down, the liquidity needs to be pumped up in order to try and backstop the losses that are happening. You have other corporations in, when, in the financial industry, for instance, that start to run into problems, and then they need to get in there and start to actually actively support the system, or else the entire thing will fall on its face. It has nothing to do with what the stock is performing at today. It's got nothing to do with what you hear on the news. We're not talking about about CEOs and presidents. We're not looking at anybody in the suit and ties. We're talking about information that cannot be denied. We're talking about what's on their balance sheet and what hides off of it. And I'm going to cover more of that today. I've, I've done so many times before in the past. I will show you some more information. Enough ranting. Let's move on. This is directly from Deutsche Bank's report at the end of 2018. This is the newest numbers I could find here. And we're looking at their derivatives, all right? Now, even though there are so many claims about, well, this is notional derivatives, therefore, it's nothing to worry about. Here, have a smiley face. Everything is just fine. Well, you could see for yourself, we're talking about 
43 trillion euro worth and in this case here it's something that is bigger bigger than what any company out there should ever have this is going beyond well beyond anything that could be supported could be bailed out and could ever be dealt with in any way shape or form if you want to check this one out for yourself you can always go to the link in the description under the sources and pull this up if you want to flip through it but again we're talking about numbers that are about half a year old I would suspect that they had started to eliminate some of this but you really never know I'm pretty sure I did see one from the year prior and it was a little higher than this but I mean we're splitting hairs at this point a trillion here a trillion there what's a trillion between friends Brand new info, July 6, 2019, Deutsche Bank calls top leadership dumps unwanted. I had just done a video yesterday and we talked about the 50 billion euro bad bank that they're trying to set up. Already they've surpassed that. Already the talks have been greater than that. We don't know what's going to be implemented of course, but I'm just bringing you the information based on the insiders and what they're saying. So I have to report this to you, but letting you know that it's not official confirmation, but I will tell you exactly what happens when it does. Deutsche Bank's radical overhaul is slowly taking shape with a cull of top leadership and better visibility on how many jobs will be cut and how big its non-core bad bank unit will be. Now they're mentioning particular names, particular positions. I'm not really going to get into that detail. You'll fall asleep here, but that's all within these paragraphs in this article here. But what I wanted to focus on was at the bottom about 75 billion euros we're talking 84 billion dollars and maybe as much as 80 billion euro of risk weighted assets will form the basis of bad bank person familiar with the matter said at the highest number that's equivalent of about a quarter of deutsche's total balance sheet so we are talking about excessive numbers in relation to deutsche bank itself that's their bad bank my goodness there's really nothing left after that how they're ever going to resolve it, it simply doesn't make sense. This is going to lead to a systemic problem in the financial system. They are already right now exposing what's happening, but of course, they're not going to let you know the details of all of this as it happens. We are always finding little bits and pieces and we have to put it together ourselves. Only those willing to do that work, to put it together, are going to know the truth. Everybody else, they're in the lullaby land, they have their head in the sand, and as I say, ignorance is not bliss. This is just showing you here the breakdown of those in the old leadership and the new leadership. If you want to read it for yourself, please do. And just to finish the video off, if you're interested in what this bad bank is and how it's all broken down, how Deutsche Bank will work it out, how it's all really aligned with others that have happened previously, I just wanted to give you this article here. It's out of Bloomberg. They give you all the details within it. So I wanted to include that. If you're interested, go to the link in the sources. Of course, that's all. I'm going to end the video there. If you found it informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, you are supporting this channel. So I do appreciate that very much if you want you can give me a thumbs down as well that supports me too so thank you very much for all of those thumbs up and down and the negative comments positive comments i like them all thank you very much if you want the financial education you were not taught in school these two books have everything you need from top to bottom a to z all the details you need to know about the financial system about central banks about bailouts and bail-ins and everything in between are in these two books definitely check them out at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at the money gps.com i'd like to know what you are thinking right now that's going on with deutsche bank are they really able to bail this company out are they actually able to backstop the losses that are going to come out of this company? Are they going to be able to rescue it? Is it even possible to rescue a company of this size? Will the derivatives play a role? All of these are questions, questions that will remain unanswered until the time comes. We're looking at it as trying to go through a restructuring process, but in general, in the crisis, we are going to really see what happens. So maybe on Monday, they fire a whole bunch of people 
people. Maybe the stock rises a little bit. Maybe there's a lack of confidence. They've run through some trouble, but ultimately it just trades within a range and you see that the company still stays operational. However, we run into a crisis that extends from Germany to China, all throughout Europe even. Let's just go all the way around the world and the crisis is unfolding as the liquidity is trying to be pumped into the system. Nothing's enough. We're seeing deflation. We're seeing the money fleeing and so on. If that happens, watch Deutsche Bank. Watch what happens. Clearly, they've got a problem and it's not being outlined, not being discussed, but here we are. Anyway, let's just say that if you want more information about this, then you got to watch this video. Definitely click on it and then I'll see you there.